Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Song. I'm Hyun. Today we have a soothing yoga practice for your knees and hips. Also, it will help you relieve some pain in your lower back too. As you're ready, find your tabletop first. Let's do some cat and cow to warm up your spine. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. If you have a sensitive knees, you can put the blanket under your knees for extra support. Go ahead, inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, scoop your belly in. Breathe in, length through your front body. Exhale, stretch through your back body. Three more at your own pace. No rush. Be more present. In your time, extend your arms out for heart melting or melting heart pose. Keep your hips high over your knees, chest down or forehead down. You can under your feet down if it feels better. Just allow yourself to be here right now as you sink your chest down, relaxing your shoulders and your lower back. One more breath here. And release, make your way to your belly. So belly down first, chest down, forehead down. You can take your hands underneath your forehead, bend your knees, and slowly knees there, feet to the left side, and to right side. Windy shape part, wipers, move side to side. Take it slow, find your own range of motion. Maybe taking to the one side is can, can be easier than the other. Just let your body be seen, be heard, be fully understood as it is. And observe how your lower back feels now. You can do this as much as you want to. As you're ready, slowly release your feet down. Take your hands by your chest or a little bit forward. Depends on how you feel in your back. Hug your elbows in. Breathe in. Nice, gentle cobra. Exhale, slowly elbows down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Breathe in, chest up. Draw your shoulders down. Exhale, release. Two more. Breathe in, belly engage to support your lower back. Lengthen through your neck, shoulders down out of your ears. If it feels good, stay a little bit longer. Three, two, one. Take it easy. And release, take your chest down, one side of head down, or forehead down. Notice how your body feels. The other side of head down, if you haven't done. Back to center, make your way to tabletop once more. 
shoulders over your wrist, knees underneath your hips. Find some downward facing dog pose here. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high, stretch your back. You might bend your knees, pedal it out. A little bit of twist, knee to the opposite side of chest. Just a little movement to soften your lower back. Soothe your knees. As you're ready, walk your feet toward your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. You can hold the opposite elbows for dangling pose. Let your shoulders really be heavy. Let your head hang heavy too. Relax your back. Actually relax your entire body. Feel free to bend your knees as much as needed. One more deepest breath you've taken all day. So good. Slowly inhale halfway up. Exhale fold. Bend your knees, take a seat. Um, down, feet in front of you, bend your knees first. Inhale, lift your chest up for cow pose. Exhale, round through your back, look at your belly, cat pose. Inhale, open up the chest, wave through your spine. Exhale, scoop your belly in. Breathe in and breathe out. Find some freedom in your body. Move in your own way. One more. And make your way to lay down. Relax your shoulders and your back to the earth. Find some support by the earth. You might move your knees side to side. Feel about your hip this apart or a little bit wider. Just like we did in a prone pose, moving your knees out side to side. Send some massage for your hips and lower back. And allow your knees to the one side. I'm gonna drop the knees to the left first. Take your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Actually, your heel touches your right outer thigh. You can move your right foot a little bit to the right edge of the mat or off the mat. And draw your hips down, hug your belly in, gentle twist. You might look toward your right shoulder. Notice what's going on in your hips, your legs. How about your knee? Back to center, switch sides, knees to the opposite side. Ankle toward your, to your left or right, outer thigh. The more you move your foot to the outer edge, the deeper you might feel through the outer leg. So it depends on how you feel, find your intensity of stretch. Soften your face as you soften your breath. Slow things down. Remember, this is your time, your healing time, right? Back to your center. Good. Now extend your right leg out and down, left knee into the chest, hug your knee to the chest best you can. 
and go ahead extend your left leg out pulling your left knee, knee to the chest but keep the left leg nice and long if you got a strap or a towel you can use it wrap around your foot otherwise just holding the back of leg stay for three breaths just feel your body your breath soothe and relax your body you can stay more as you're done bend your left knee taking your right foot down and left ankle on top of your right thigh for figure for shape you can move your left knee in and out Finding your range of motion. Find more mobility on your left side, your hip, your knee. As you feel you had enough, hug your right knee into the chest to get a deep stretch for your outer hip. You might stay or fight your shin maybe back of your thigh hugging knee to the chest but keep the left knee out to the side if it is ever too much no worries just keep the right foot down keep moving choose whatever serves your body Do you remember this is for you yourself not for everyone not for anyone <laughs> I just want to say not every pose can be for everyone right so always modify this make it work for you release the other side left leg out right knee bend hug your knee to the chest One more breath. Go ahead, left knee bend. Excuse me, right ankle on top of your left thigh. You can circle your ankle or move your knee up and down. Just find something that works in your body. You might close down your eyes. Be more focused on how you feel rather than how your body looks like. Every person is different. Every experience different. Every single practice should be different. Go ahead, left knee into the chest, holding the back of thigh or somewhere else. Knee out of your chest, your right knee. Left knee into the chest if it feels, only if it feels safe for you. Two more deepest breaths. good we haven't done this one extend your right leg out you can keep the left knee bent or extend you might hold the back of thigh or somewhere else respect how you feel never forcing your body never 
whatever judge in your practice. We can always learn something. Feel something new in each practice. One more breath with sense of embrace, sense of acceptance and love. And release both knees into the chest, gentle rock side to side. Massaging your lower back. Moving like loving, caring, and taking good care of yourself. I'm gonna move into happy baby pose. If it is your practice today, go ahead, knees out, feet up. Holding your outer legs, it can be somewhere else. Feeling the nice stretch for your inner thighs. You can stay still whenever you're ready. Relaxing your shoulders down. That is how your lower back feels now. Notice the tension or tightness in your hips. In your time release, you can bring your feet about hip distance apart for bridge pose, hands by your side, press into your feet, lift your hips up, keep the core muscles engaged to support your lower back. Lift up and down 10 times. Do it slow. Every exhale, lifting your hips up, belly scoops in. Feel the strength in your bandha, lifting from your pelvic floor, belly, your navel toward your spine. Your bandhas will keep you strong and stable. Self know is totally okay to be, to do less, to rest more. Join both palms together in front of your heart, thanking yourself for showing up and practicing in a mindful, honest way. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. Take special care. Namaste.